Listen up, folks. The GNR TV, hands down, the best, the best, the best. I'm telling you right now. You get your movie channels, you get your pay per views, you get your sports packages, you get your porn, plus all the regular TV. And I know what you're thinking. Well, uh, sports this, sports that. Well, sports is back. As a matter of fact, tonight, 10 p.m., UFC 249, Ferguson versus Gaethje. Awesome freaking card. Sign up for GNR TV right now, and you'll be able to watch the card tonight. And guess what? It's only $20. Only $20 for the month. Two devices. Not one, but two. Count them. One, two. Sign up for GNR TV. Watch the fights tonight. Enjoy the fights tonight. And enjoy the rest of this video. GNR TV. Streaming done right. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hope it's going great. As we all know, yes, I said we all know, today is the 40th anniversary of this classic, wonderful franchise. The original, of course. Friday the 13th, the one that started it all in this franchise. And I'm so, so happy that it still stands up. I'll say from when I seen it as a child up till now, which I'm 34 now, but I mean, it's just one of those movies where, and franchises where I can't get enough of, speaking for myself. Definitely hands down my favorite slasher franchise. Obviously, as you guys all know, Jason's my favorite slasher. And I know he's not, he's in the movie, not till the end, but I mean, you all know his mother's a killer. I think this was just a great setup for the franchise. I really do. This is one of those stories I never, ever get tired of. You know, when you watch the fan films of this, the original of this, you know, just how they had the campfire story of this. I freaking love it. It's one of those campfire stories you could never get enough of. And it's just a fun franchise overall. I know down the road, it goes, it goes like up, down, up, down, up, down throughout the whole franchise, you could say. And down the road, the last couple are just like, eh. But I still love them. I still enjoy them. They're still fun at the very least. And it's just, I would have to say this franchise is what really made me a horror fan, I believe. Just because back in the day as a kid, USA Network, Friday the 13th, this is playing all weekend, that marathon. And guess who's watching it? Your boy, Sir Sturdy. And I just enjoyed it from then on till now. And the cool thing about it too was like, Watching it as a kid and like watching it on the USA Network, it cut out a lot of the blood, guts, and blues, as you all know. Cut out a lot of the good scenes. But it still drew me to the TV. Like, oh man, I need to watch this. It's Friday the 13th. I have to freaking watch this, which I did. And then when I finally got to watch it in VHS when writing the movie, I was like, wow, this is even better than I freaking thought. Just because, again, you get to see everything. And. Again, this is my favorite franchise, hands down, slasher franchise, horror franchise, whatever you want to call it. I don't have a favorite horror movie, but I guess if you had, if I, I absolutely had to choose it, I'm going to say my comfort is Friday the 13th. And again, it goes back to my childhood of watching it. And it just, I have so many great memories. I have so many great memories with this franchise. And just, I mean, just as far as like sitting down and watching them, like you, I remember this, I can sit down and watch most of the franchise and just be like, oh, wow, I know what's going to happen. Um, I can know just by listening, of course, of course, by watching like what's coming up next. And a quick funny story. I remember buying this on, when it first came out on DVD, I bought it at FYE, I believe. My brother Henry and I, either we got a ride from my mother or we took the bus. I believe she brought us there though. Colony Center, I want to say, and um, yeah, went to FIE. I believe it was 80 bucks when it came out. I remember paying about $100 bills. I remember this is when I first started shining it in the light. And oh my goodness, we were so excited to get it back. Like when we got back home, we watched it that whole freaking weekend. That whole weekend. And I remember 
I really remember going to um, so where, where I lived, where my mom lives now is. I can tell you where she lives, obviously, but like where she lives, there's a. At the time, it was Hess, and I was a speedway, but there was a Hess gas station right up the street. Like you can cut right through her backyard and get to it. And a lot of times when we go there, we go up there for you know candy, energy drinks, chips, and all that kind of stuff. And that's what we did. Well, I did. I went up there to go go get a after we got this movie. You know, it was later on in the evening. It was dark. I remember it was nighttime. It was dark out. So to get home, do whatever. And then I was like, yo, you know, we're talking. Let's go get some snacks. So I was like, all right, we'll get them. Ran up there to go get them. Got whatever I got. Came back. And at my mom's yard, there's a huge freaking tree. And I'm coming back. I don't know if I was running or skipping or jogging or walking, whatever the case may be. But uh, so my brother decides it's funny to hide behind the tree and jump out. I don't know if he just jumped out at me or if he grabbed me or what he did. That part, I do not remember. But whatever he did scared the hell out of me. It was a good freaking scare. I was like, oh, shit, and yelled. And it was fucking awesome. Funny as hell. But the funny thing about, I remember talking to him. I was like, yo, what would you have done if I would have taken the front way instead of going around the back? Because you could just go right, obviously, go right out the front door and go up the street, take a right. And he was like, I would have been waiting out here for a minute. But still a good time, good scared. It was really funny. And that's a good memory from this franchise that I have. And just plenty more of just watching it. Another great memory I can say about this franchise is not only did I watch it with like my brothers, my cousins and all that stuff, we'd watch it from one to the final one at the time. Same thing with my wife and I, like when we start this franchise, say around Friday the 13th, we'll watch a lot of times, not always, but most of the time we'll watch this whole freaking franchise from the first one to the last one. And yes, I include as far as nowadays, cause they're all out, all the ones that are out. I include the original all the way to the 2009 remake. And I even threw in, um, like sometimes I even watch the fan films. I did watch Never Hike Alone on Friday the 13th a couple times. And it's just, it's just one of those things. It's an awesome tradition with this movie now. Like this movie made, made a whole tradition of, I'm sure not just me and my friends and family, but a lot of other horror fans out there that will watch this whole franchise or as much of it as they can on Friday the 13th, if not that whole weekend, just because of this franchise, which I think is an awesome thing. And I did watch the original today. You know, I was walking around the house and stuff doing things. So I had it on in the background, but I did have it on today for the 40th year anniversary. So I want to say happy 40 years to the Friday the 13th franchise. And I can't wait for 40 more. Of course, by then I'll be in my 70s. But hey. 74 years old, I'll still be watching this. And I just, I love the franchise. I really hope that the whole legal situation gets under, you know, taken care of. And I would love to get at least one more. I'm the type of person, though, if they wanted to do the whole thing again, I'm with it. I'm with it. But I'd like to get at least one more, one really, really good one, at least. And, you know, but we'll see what happens. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching this movie. And down below, why don't you comment some of your favorite Friday the 13th moments that you've had with this franchise, with friends, with family. Again, mine's with watching with my, my brothers, my cousins, and my wife, just watching the whole franchise. Uh, just fun stuff like that. Oh, one more funny story before I end it. Another thing that we used to do as kids, which Michael, I know you remember this, and Christian, you should remember this, and Jared, you should remember this, is we'd play a game called Scary Tag, which was pretty much like hide and, it was pretty much hide and seek. Joseph, you should also remember this. But um, Henry, I think you should remember this. What we would do was like, whoever was it, because we had the cheap Jason mask, we had like a Michael Myers mask. So whoever was it, which was a weird idea, it was a fun idea, would wear the mask and you just get caught. I mean, if you get caught, you're out. But it was hard as fuck to be running those masks and breathing, as you guys know, and seeing everything. Like, your vision's not that great, but it was fun. And we would play hide and seek with the whole neighborhood at night. Fun fucking times. We would do that sometimes with the masks on, call it Scary Tag. Or we would call it Scary Tag and not even wear the mask. You just wouldn't know who's it. After people get caught, the, you know, last one standing wins. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this. And again, 
let me know your favorite Friday the 13th moments or if you guys, if any of you created a game or made up a little game as a kid or even an adult, you know, because of this franchise, because of just horror in general. But I say Friday the 13th because it is the 40th year anniversary. So, again, happy anniversary to Friday the 13th. And I want to thank each and every single one of you, if you see this video or not, who were involved in this whole, who was involved in this whole franchise. Amazing franchise. Thank you for it. I love this franchise. And uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, check out my YouTube channel, Horror Research 30, my Facebook group, Horror Research 30, where you can share anything and everything horror related, including, including your own projects. My Horror Research 30 page, which is just to follow up on updates and everything that I'm doing, horror related. Um, my Twitch channel, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. If you ever want to be on a podcast, shoot me an, an email as well. Horror dot sir sturdy at gmail.com. Again, it's horror dot sir sturdy at gmail.com. And if you ever want to come on, hit me up. Uh, I will be releasing a lot more content very, very soon. I have some edits and stuff to do, which I'll be working on soon. And they'll be dropping as far as like I have a lot of audio to drop for you guys Tuesday. And then I have more videos for my show, a podcast, which I'll be dropping for you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. But um, yes, yeah, so we'll be getting back to the regular schedule, as I said in my previous video. And again, thank you all for watching. As always, I'll see you in your nightmares. And again, Happy 40th anniversary to Friday the 13th. My favorite franchise. So I feel it's the greatest. Peace.